what is up guys welcome back to part two of my little rebuild uh some of you guys may be questioning yourself why the heck am i doing this and i am doing this because i am cheap <laughs> that's just uh no question about it and this is the only way i could afford a camper but anyways so today what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to clean i'm trying to clean as much as this crap out of here i got my handy dandy blower here and i'm trying to get all the soot all this black crap and all the insulation out of here and that way i have more of a clean area to work with i'm also going to be cleaning up the windows and trying to clean some of the soot off the walls i have my bucket here already mixed with cleaner and i'm going to get at it all right so i've been cleaning uh here and there the walls are able to be cleaned a little bit these are supposed to be kind of like a mocha like light brown color so the smoke does come off but you could still kind of see it on there but that is okay because i'm gonna primer all over this this is the color it's supposed to be and this is the color that it is with the smoke after i did some cleaning so it cleaned up pretty decently the windows are pretty clean right here which is good i still gotta work on this section that's like the toughest area so i'm leaving that for last all righty so a little bit more progress so what i went ahead and did is i cut the wires that were going up into the roof they go through the little holes i cut them out of there the only ones that i did not cut is like i think these are the satellite satellite tv ones i'm not really sure if i'm going to keep these i really don't have a need for them so i might just chop them up and get them out of there all right so the work continues i did some more cleaning uh but i'm gonna stop with the cleaning for right now i did end up uh starting to peel this wallpaper i think that is the direction i'm gonna go because as you can see the wood under it is pretty nice it, it does leave a little bit of a sticky residue but i could always just sand that down with my sander so that's going to be for another day what i want to focus on now is i want to focus on basically sealing up the wall because we do have really bad rain uh in the winter and i don't want this thing to leak so what i'm going to have to do first is i'm going to have to repair the roof so today what i'm going to do is i'm going to weld the new roof member in i've never welded aluminum but i'm going to give it a shot so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to install uh the spool gun onto my welder i've never welded aluminum so this is gonna be my first time i'm gonna practice a little bit then i'm gonna get to it Alrighty, so i kind of got the piece of aluminum uh almost perfect it's not really lining up because it when i was bending it in it kind of bent this uh tube in i'm not really too worried about it because it's gonna have another support piece right here after i remove this but on this side i mean it's almost almost perfect on this side is pretty much dead on so i'm gonna weld this end first uh, i'm gonna see how it goes and then i'm gonna try on the other side to move it and kind of get it wherever i want it into the correct position all right the second beam is in this one came out a little bit nicer because i already had the settings dialed in for the spool gun this is decent um it's on there it's super strong this one's a little bit better that one's still okay so that should be it for the roof beams um if i do go back to the uh industrial metal supply and i find another piece of, the, of this i might uh add it there because this one looks a little a little eh this i reinforced this well because there really was nothing there i mean it should be all right if i can't find another piece but if i do have it i might as well just throw it up there all right so quickly i know these uh i talk a lot in these videos but uh i welded all this up the frame for the window is all complete this is screwed in there well kind of it's all basically the way it's going to be i'm going to put aluminum over this so i don't really have to reinforce most of it most of this wall is not going to hold a lot of weight but yeah so all uh, the other thing i'm going to do is i'm going to basically make like a make like a square of aluminum there and that's just going to cover up the whole top i was going to get some phylon but i don't really know how to work with this stuff and it's really hard to get and it's expensive so I'm just gonna skip that all entirely and just slap some aluminum on there. Also on the roof, I was going to um, basically patch it with uh, fiberglass, but I'm just gonna skip that. I'm gonna do it aluminum. I used to do aluminum, well, I did aluminum on my RV build. If you guys seen that old video and my square drop trailer is all aluminum. So I do like uh, aluminum better. So let's get to it. Alrighty, so it started to rain, so I had to cover it all up so you guys can't see what's going on there. But we do have a little bit of a roof leak. It was leaking before, but I'm not really too worried about it since it's not finished inside. I have to track it down. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this wall. 
Sorry about that. But I need to remove this whole wall. That way I could uh, just get in there, clean everything up, prime everything, put new wood, and uh, slap it all together. I might also remove this whole cabinet. I don't know how hard that's going to be, but I'm going to try it out right now. So let's get to work. Okay, so the wall is finally gone. It was a pain in the butt to get out of here, but I really wanted to get it out of here. So that way I have a full uh, template right here of how I'm going to rebuild this little wall. Uh, basically, I'm not going to go too far deep into it. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to keep the seam for the new plywood uh, right at the center of the wall, which is about right here. All this rest of the wall, is just this is just all that wallpaper that I can clean off, so that's going to be cleaned. So I did get that guy loose, the sink. I'm working on trying to wiggle it out. I got to cut uh, some of the stuff inside because uh, I don't, I don't want to take apart any of the plumbing or the wiring. I want to take it all complete like this here. After this is gone, I'm going to work on this side. This, uh, there's a wall. I had to cut that little corner out, uh, because all the piping and the wiring ran through it and I don't want to, I didn't want to cut it. So anyways, uh, this pipe or this wall is probably going to have to stay because this thing runs through it. I mean, I could cut it out and just, uh, patch it, not patch it, reattach it with one of these couplers, but I don't know. Oops. That was way too hard. But yeah, alrighty, I'm gonna get back at it. Okay, so the sink is finally out. So the shower was here, the sink was there. A lot of the wiring was ran through the back, so it wasn't such of a clean removal. But my plan is to just cut along this line here and then leave that side open. Once this is installed, go back in and make a little template that'll cover that remaining hole. The bottom of the cabinet is, uh, I see a lot of uh, water intrusion. So it's particle board, so it started to split. I don't know how I'm gonna fix that. Uh, I'm gonna figure something out eventually. But now that this is out, it gives me a much more, uh, gives me much more room to work and uh, lets me see basically what I could fix. That way I could fix it all instead of piece by piece and I'm able to get all that smoke and all that crap from all the little crevices out. Alrighty, so the whole bathroom is removed and gutted out. I really was not trying to go this deep. If I would have known I was going to have to do all this, I would have not bought the camper. But since I'm stuck with it, I am going to rebuild it the right way since I'm going to enjoy it for many years to come. But yeah, anyways, so the whole floor, as I was tearing more into it, is very squishy. Um, there's a lot of bubbling, so I'm guessing the wood underneath is deteriorated. So I'm going to have to peel all this vinyl floor up, lay a new floor down. I'm probably going to have to use a uh, different type of vinyl, but once I'm down there, I will make the decision. But anyways, now I'm able to basically prime this whole back end nicely. That way all the smoke damage is gone. Wash some of the walls off, see if some of that more soot will come off and then just repair whatever needs to be repaired. But, use, but basically this whole back structure is in pretty good shape. I didn't find anything that would be a cause for concern. The only thing that I do know that is wrong with it right now, besides the gigantic hole right here, is the floor, I mean, the wall sag that happens on these, on this model camper. I'm gonna repair that um, from the outside before I do any other structure because I don't want that repair to take anything that I do in here out of square or not line up like I want it to. But yeah, now I'm rambling. But yeah, this is it for today. I'm gonna go back inside and relax and continue this another day. All right, so I'm trying to upgrade my equipment. That way the videos look a little bit better. But anyways, so the whole back end is completely removed. And that's going to do it for this video. Uh, tune back in for next time. I'm trying to spice these video ups, make them a little bit different. But I'm going to work on finally sealing up the roof completely because we are in the winter here in Arizona and we do get a lot of rain. For the past month, we've gotten rain every other week. So it has leaked in here, making the floor a little bit worse. But it's going to get a little worse before it gets better. But yeah, like I said, this is it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe for the rest of the progress. The next video, I plan on priming this whole interior and getting all this burnt smell out of here. Thank you guys. Please like and subscribe.